using our if statement conditions. I'm sure there is a really simple answer to this but I can't find it after searching around for a while. The above code works perfectly, the condition on the if statement seems a bit long-winded so I tried. Which is shorter but doesn't work. I worked out that it doesn't work because O is a boolean expression which will always be true and that it doesn't consider anything on the left side of OR. I tried putting brackets around it like so. But that only matches Q and not O. Is there any shorthand way of getting the code to work or do I have to use the long-winded way that's working for me? Use one of the following solutions to implement the condition. List, if letter in, Q, O, tuple, if letter in, Q, O, string, if letter in, Q, O. Updates for completeness, rejects, re.match oak, letter, copied from Paul Hanking's answer. You should vote his on where if you think rejects is the solution. You can use letter in oak or re.match oak, letter. More thoroughly, I'd probably define a string of prefixes that should get the U. In your code, letter equals equals, O or Q, first evaluates, O or Q, O isn't false, so the result is O, and so this is the same as letter equals equals O. Your other attempt, letter equals equals O or Q first evaluates letter equals equals O and if it's true, it gives the answer true otherwise it'll give the answer Q. You can find the documentation for how or works in the language reference. BDW, it's better not to focus on how you'll write the code. And one more variant, faster in case there are a lot of prefixes, not just two. The in string option is best, in this special case where the input is a single character. More generally, for a smallish number of possible values, in tuple is preferred to in list, as recent pythons will build the tuple at compile time, whereas the list is built at run time. When there are many options, a set or frozen set can be built once, and interrogated multiple times quickly. Regex approaches are more complicated and or slower than the options canvassed above. 1. Re.match QO, letter, can't compete with letter in QO. 2. Initially needs underscore U equals re dot compile QO, dot match followed by needs underscore U letter is horrid compared with initial needs underscore U equals set QO followed by letter in needs underscore U. Subscribe.